Hi, I am Dr. Sham Sharkar. Today we are going to learn how to determine both atomic term symbol and molecular term symbol in very shortcut method. Because in competitive exam, you will not have much time to think. So let's learn it. So term symbols are generally two types. One is atomic term symbol for atom and another one is molecular term symbol for molecule. Here we will learn specially for diatomic molecule. Okay. So let us learn one by one. What is atomic term symbol? Atomic term symbol is represented by 2s plus 1 Lj. 2s plus 1 in the left superscript and j is the right superscript and L is in middle. Okay. So what are these terms 2s plus 1 Lj? Let us learn. So here I have represented in the same format as the we represent the atomic term symbol. So what is 2s plus 1? 2s plus 1 is the total spin multiplicity. And what is s here? s equal to summation of si that is total spin quantum numbers. So s equal to plus half for electron with up spin whereas s equal to minus half for electron with down spin. So now see what, are, what is L, L is the summation of ML that is total orbital quantum number is represented by L, L for certain values of L so there will be different symbol. So let us see for L equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms or symbols are represented as S, P, D, F, G, H in this way. So for L equal to 0 term will be S. For L equal to 1, term will be P. In this way, we can represent for different L values, different terms. Now, we come to the right super subscript. So, what is right subscript? That is J. So, J is the total angular momentum quantum number. So, how to calculate J? If we know the value of L and capital S, that is total spin quantum number, then we can calculate J equal to L plus S to L minus S. So J will have the values L plus S to L minus S. Now one rule is there for the determination of J. Since we will get uh, many of J values, so which J value should we consider that has some rule. So what is that rule? If electrons in the orbital is less than half field, then minimum J value should be taken under consideration. If electrons in the orbital is half field or greater than half field then maximum j value we should taken under consideration okay now see these two left superscript and middle one together that means 2s plus 1 l this form is known as only term symbol so or this is only atomic term symbol now in exam if they asked ground state term symbol then you, you need to add j that means all these three together is known as that is 2s plus 1 lj this total form is known as ground state term symbol so this is the way we can we can represent the ground state term symbol of an atom okay now let us learn shortcut tricks for the determination of this ground state term symbol. So you can see this question uh, this uh, asked in CSIR net 2011 the term symbol for the ground state of nitrogen atom. So there are four options. Now you have to do very fast because in exam you will not much time to think. So let us see how we can uh, do in shortcut method. See, you have to write note first electronic configuration. Electronic configuration of nitrogen atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Now you will uh, calculate only for outermost orbital. So here outermost orbital is 2p3. So 2p3 is represented by one electron in each subshell according to Hund's tool. Now see, you can see the ML values of p orbital plus 1, 0, minus 1. Now from this we can say uh, s equal to 3 and, three, uh, three and half because 
is plus half plus half plus half for three or electrons in three different subshells. So s will be three and half. So two s plus one equal to four. So if two s plus one equal to four, then in the four options we will see. So in a and c there are no four left superscript. So we can um, we can first cancel this a and c option. Now we have b and d. So in b and d both they have four left superscript. So total spin quantum number in both cases four. So now let us calculate the L values. For L values for this P3 system, see plus one zero minus one. That means zero, which implies S term. Now B term we can cancel. See answer B will not be there because in B the term symbol is represented in P. So since we have the term S. so option will be d is the right answer so d is here right answer in this way you can do short tricks for determination of term symbol in exam okay you have to uh, omit one by one this option then easy, easily you can do the right answer and if you know this basic things what how to do calculation then it's easy for you okay next next see here i have uh, written that uh, different electronic configuration and possible term symbols so these all are possible term symbols you can go through you can do calculation uh, at home so one by one configuration and calculate you will get all these possible term symbols okay now let's move to the molecular term symbols especially for diatomic molecule so molecular term symbol is represented by kind of similar atomic term symbol but slightly different here see 2s plus 1 lambda uh, g oblique u or plus minus plus oblique minus. So this is the representation of molecular term symbol. So what are these different notation? So before that, I will show you one uh, uh, notation. See this notation you might know or one who do not know for them I have just shown here. So these all are capital Greek letter capital Greek letters. that is uh, first one is lambda then sigma then pi then delta then phi so this notation we will be using for next okay so now see let us see what are these uh, 2s plus 1 lambda plus minus u how, how we can calculate molecular term symbol so here i represented both just to show you there is not much different difference between these two types of term symbol see in case of atomic term symbol so l equal to 0 1 2 3 4 terms were s p d f similarly here also for lab different lambda values there will be different terms so for lambda values 0 1 2 3 terms will be like sigma pi delta phi etc now we have to know few different key points few key points for the determination of molecular term symbol how we can determine molecular term symbol so first key point is you have to remember that lambda total lambda can be calculated with the just addition of individual lambda values of orbital and you have to also remember for sigma orbital lambda equal to 0 and for for pi orbital lambda equal to plus minus 1 so this point you have to remember then if the symbol is sigma then only plus or minus superscript are used otherwise not so you have to remember that plus and minus superscript should be used only for sigma or sigma symbol otherwise not that means for pi delta phi you no need to use plus and minus sign okay now for electron in sigma orbital if electrons are in the sigma orbital then plus superscript is used if unpaired electrons are in the pi orbital then minus superscripts are used if electron in the paired electron in the pi orbital then again plus superscript must be used so these are the remembering point next g oblique u this is considered only for the orbital of last electron field so we will not consider all the orbitals only last electron uh, last orbitals with filling up electrons we need to taken under consideration so g for g red and u for un g red so we will see the orbital symmetry and from that we have to put whether this is g or u 
so zeroth and zeroth is considered only for the orbital of last electron field okay next point if two electrons lies in different orbitals suppose two different pi orbitals or two different sigma orbitals are there and electrons are one in here and one in another orbital then how we can can we have to put g and u values then in that case g cross u that means if two orbital is having g symmetry and g symmetry then total symmetry will be g so g cross g equal to g g cross u equal to u and u cross u equal to g so if you remember these five points so it is very easy to calculate molecular term symbol for any diatomic molecule okay so remember these five points now you will see steps to determine molecular term symbols there are three steps very simple three steps so you can determine molecular term symbol for any diatomic molecule let us see what are the steps steps one to observe the molecular orbital electronic configuration and here also outer unfilled mo's only we no need to know all the molecular orbital configuration if you know the outer orbital molecular configuration that is enough for you so first you have to write down the molecular orbital configuration for your convenience so we know that there are two different kind of molecular orbital electronic configuration with 14 electron less than 14 electron and more than 14 electron so if molecular orbital having less than 14 electron then we can represent molecular orbital electron configuration in this way so energy orders of mo's are in this way if more than 14 electron then energy orders varies little bit you can see here now you have to know the symmetry of these orbitals whether these will be zeroed or unzeroed so let us see so here i have shown in yellow color you can see the symmetry of each orbitals so this symmetry you have to remember then you can uh, do this calculation very easily now next point to determine the lambda values we have to determine which, what is the lambda values and corresponding uh, symbol so for different lambda values there are different symbols okay so how to determine lambda values we have mentioned just before lambda is the summation of individual component just summation of individual component lambda values so lambda equal to lambda 1 plus lambda 2 now you have to remember that for sigma orbital lambda equal to 0 and for pi orbital lambda equal to plus minus 1 and third step is the to find out the total spin multiplicity that means total 2s plus 1 values so spin multiplicity is represented by 2s plus 1 that is left superscript so these are the three easiest steps to determine the molecular term symbol for diatomic molecule now let us learn with one example so here see question find the term symbol for the ground state and first excited state of hydrogen molecule so let us see how can we determine first the ground state molecular electronic configuration of h2 molecule is sigma 1s2 and g is here z symmetry okay now see for sigma electron we know that for sigma electron lambda equal to 0 so lambda equal to 0 means total lambda will be 0 and total lambda 0 means we will use this term sigma so here in symbol will be sigma okay now for uh, see two electrons in one orbital so s equal to half minus half that means 2s plus 1 that is spin multiplicity equal to 1 so spin multiplicity 1 and uh, symbol we have sigma and now we have to see whether this is uh, plus or minus see g we have already got so here symmetry is g now g is the right subscript okay now for sigma electron we know that plus sign so uh, so we we will have the uh, molecular term symbol for hydrogen molecule in the ground state is 1 sigma plus g so this is the molecular term symbol for h2 molecule in the ground state now we will see in the excited state so what will be the, in the excited state see in the first excited state the electronic configuration becomes sigma 1 s g and sigma 1 s star 1 u so symmetry is getting changed in the 
excited state that means in the anti bonding molecular orbital symmetry is unzeroed and in bonding symmetry is zeroed now for sigma electron similarly for sigma electron lambda equal to 0 and lambda equal to 0 means the term implies that sigma okay so this sigma and uh, uh, if you see here orbit uh, electrons are in two different orbitals so they may be parallel or anti parallel if parallel then spin is plus up and plus up one that is spin multiplicity becomes three and for anti parallel spin so s will be zero and 2s plus one 2s plus one that means spin multiplicity will be one okay now see see orbitals uh, electrons are in two different orbitals so we have to count total symmetry total symmetry is zeroed cross unzeroed that means unzeroed so this i have already shown in the uh, rules for the determination of molecular term symbol so here we come total symmetry is u so now we can represent uh, this molecular term symbol for h2 molecule in the first excited state as this one sigma plus u and three sigma plus u so 1 and 3 are two different uh, spin multiplicity values depending on the uh, pa parallel spin or anti parallel spin. So, in this way we can calculate the molecular trap symbol very easily. Now, you will see tricks for the exam. So, here see one question you can see CSIR net 2018. So, the term symbol for the ground state of B2 molecule is 4 options are given. Okay. So, let us see how to calculate this. So, see this is the molecular orbital electronic configuration of B2 molecule and here you can see the last two electrons are one is 1 pi orbital and another is 1 pi another is another 1 pi orbital. So, so both electrons are in the pi orbitals. Now, we know that for pi orbitals lambda value is equal to plus minus 1. So, here total lambda will be equal to plus 1 and minus 1 equal to 0. 0 means the term will be sigma as stated before. So, term sigma. Now, see 2s plus 1. 2s plus 1 equal to 2 into 1 plus 1. 1 means, see, 1 half plus half equal to 1. So, 2s plus 1 equal to 3. Now, see, 2 orbitals is having u unzeroed, unzeroed. So, total symmetry will be zeroed. Now, see minus sign for unpaired electron in pi orbital and plus sign for paired electron in pi orbital. In this case, we have this uh, unpaired electron in the pi orbital, you can see 1 and 1. So, we have to put use, we have to use here minus sign. So, in this way, we can write the term symbol for B2 molecule is 3 sigma minus g. So, option C is the right answer here ok so in this way you can show the ground state uh, molecular term symbol for b2 molecule ok now let us see another example see here the electronic configuration is given so electronic configuration is given and four options are there you can see uh, this is 2011 csr net question this is just similar to previous one there they mentioned for B2 molecule here they directly given to the uh, electronic configuration of B2 molecule and they have given the same option. So, here also we can say the molecular term symbol will be 3 sigma minus g ok. So, in this way you can show very easily the molecular term symbol for diatomic molecule. So, thank you.